and gathered here of your own free will? Give a little nod. All right. Ryan, this is where you make your vow. Rick, I make myself a gift to you. Take me as your wife and take care of me. Accept from me my love. Let me help you in your life as you will share in mine. For everything that I have now and everything that I am is yours. Always and forever. Uh, Ryan, I make myself a gift to you. Take me as your husband and take care of me. Let me add my strength to your courage, my protection to your hope. Everything I have is now yours, always and forever. And now, the ring. Derek? Ryan, take this ring and wear it always. For I will love you always. By the powers invested in me, by the glorious state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. so young. Very young. Well, you asked for it, and you got it. The best bottle from the vast Ryan Cellarage. <laughs> I can't wait. What do you got there, anyway? Oh, that's Mary's wedding garter. Oh. I always thought that Ryan would wear it one day. Yeah. Oh, what's the matter with me? It's not that the symbols that count, it's the people. What are you talking about? Symbols count when they remind you of the people they love, you love. Oh, no, I'm just being selfish. One of the many reasons I wanted to, to watch Brian march down the aisle was so that I could see my Mary again. Well, you don't need a wedding for that. All you have to do is wait for Ryan to come marching into our bar, which will be very soon, I promise you, and uh, all you have to do is look in the fire in her eye. You'll see our Mary. <laughs> Yes, I have to trust in that spirit of hers. And that she'll use it, young as she is, to create a good and happy life for herself and her husband. Hey, look at here. I got a message from my service. Is there any news? Uh, no, darling. We're just going on the assumption that Ryan and Rick are married by now. And how are you with that? I'm oh, fine, I guess. I mean, we're fine, aren't we? Right. Now, time to pop the cork. All right. We're going to stand here and celebrate the union of Ryan Finelli and Rick Hyde. Take a glass now. Oh. You're my sweet. And your father will make a wonderful toast. Great. Oh, come on, I don't feel like it. Oh, come, come on, on now, John. Isn't the audience large enough for you? I don't know if the occasion suits. John. The four winds could scatter the members of this family to the four corners of the earth, and we'd still be together because we are a family. We love each other, so we're all here. Come on, make the toast. You just made the toast. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Well, all right. Here goes. Lady and gentlemen. <laughs> to Ryan May Finelli. Bursting with love. <laughs> brimming with life. Full of courage. May God smile on Ryan's greatest adventure yet. A wedding day. <laughs> here, here. Here, here. To Ryan. Thank you. 
your applause for the delightful music of our orchestra. <laughs> and now, and now, good people, once again, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Richard Hyde. <laughs> Well, she would say goodbye tomorrow. Well, who's that? I don't, I don't know anymore. 